Those who live in northeastern Washington state appreciate and value the beautiful environment where they live, work, and play. As a member of the local community for over 25 years, Kinross Gold Corporation and its subsidiaries, Crown Resources Corporation and Echo Bay Minerals, have always made the protection and conservation of the environment a top priority. Now that the Buckhorn Mine is expected to close in early 2016, the responsibility for the environment does not end. Buckhorn will be closing in the future and we're focusing on some of the reclamation and closure planning aspects and we have a really good plan. The reality is that this operation won't be here. You want to have a productive post-closure land use. That's very important to Ken Ross. It's not an afterthought. We strive very hard to do the best we can to return it to a stable, beneficial land use. Ken Ross has a proven track record of responsible mining operations, closures, and reclamation in Washington State and elsewhere. Since the company began operating in 1989, it has successfully opened and closed five mines in this region, leaving behind a minimal footprint. These slopes were bare sand and gravel. We recontoured the site so that it looked natural, so that it blended in with the, the rest of the surroundings. A lot of hunters like it. It's, it's deer habitat. When it's green here, it looks like a park. It's important to put the land back to where it's usable. They just looked like, uh, you know, a place that they took the trees off of them and then when they left they planted grass and it didn't look like there was a mine there. I wouldn't have thought before I experienced this that it would be so natural. Well, a lot of these areas, certainly with an underground operation, there's really no notable difference between from the time exploration was occurring to the, what it looks like today. Um, after the physical reclamation activities and the site's been stabilized, you should not be able to recognize it as a mining operation in an underground scenario. If you've been to Lamefoot, you'll see that you can drive right by it on the highway and not even notice that it's there. And of course, that's our goal, um, is to be able to have it look just like everything else surrounding it. Now it's the beginning of a, of a beautiful hillside. Uh, there's grass and there's trees and there's deer and, and wildlife. If you didn't know that it was a mine, you would not know. We have a legacy behind us that is very positive. Here's reality, go take a look for yourself. After the physical closure of the Buckhorn Mine and the buildings and structures are removed, the roads and land are recontoured and new trees and foliage are planted. The reclamation and monitoring process will continue for a period of time to ensure the land transitions back for use in recreation and for wildlife habitat as it was before the mine. We want to be as successful during closure and reclamation as we were during operation. And we have a commitment to doing that. Each and every one of us believe it and believe that it's the right way to mine. Ken Ross operates to the same standard no matter where we're at on the planet. That's why we're here. That's what makes us as employees enjoy working for this operation and for this company. The closure of mining operations in this area is not an ending, but the start of a new chapter for the use of this land a rich history built upon a legacy of responsible mining.